and welcome to another special edition of playing with each other. <laughs> Thank yep. you. Joe's become a part of it. Yeah. <laughs> We've yeah. had so much fun playing this uh, Here Comes the Pain game that we decided to record another special episode. Mm -hmm. Yes. This time it'll be Chris and John fighting each other. I mean, Joe and John fighting each other. Did you forget who you were? Did you forget who you were? I forgot who I was. You yes. need to maybe see a doctor about this memory issue. <laughs> That's, pretty serious. That's pretty extreme. Sorry. Yeah. The last time I uh, forgot what an abdomen was. <laughs> A moment of legend. <laughs> I feel like forgetting who you are is much worse. <laughs> Alright, so first of all, we're going to start off with a bloody cage match. A bloody, a bloody cage game. match? Mm -hmm. a <laughs> well, maybe. You never know. It's going to be covered in blood. And the blood will be streaming from every orifice. It's going to be head blood, mouth blood, Ooh. butt blood. <laughs> Alright, okay. It's going to be bloody. All right, in this match, we have the Biker Undertaker taking on the dearly departed animal or um, Road Warrior Hawk, taking on the famously cocaine-fueled Iron Sheik, <laughs> taking on I missed who Joe picked, so Steve there you Austin. go. Oh, the alcohol-fueled Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's going to be awesome. Press something to cut yeah, you press um square. press something to climb a cage. <laughs> it's not clear at all what that button could be, but it sure is something. Yes, you press square towards any side. Christian of the cage checks to climb. out Jericho's ass as he uh, climbs up the cage. It's very interesting. And we're oh, off. Yeah. The Undertaker floors the Stone Cold while the Sheik makes a quick getaway. Undertaker drives his head into his spine to knock him down. Hawk with clearly the wrong move set tries a super kick. Thinks he's a young buck. But uh, he's not a clone, so he cannot be. Earl Hebner ma mauled in the wreckage. Steve Austin just shadow boxing. Now dropping a knee on Earl Hebner. Take that for Montreal, you bastard. Um, the Undertaker locking up with Austin again. Austin seemingly powerless. Oh, no, here he is. He's making the counter. He's doing a lockup of his own. And it's another counter, but I did this, but I did that. Uh, the Undertaker floors him with a big right hand, then goes off and gives a flying hug to Hawk, who is now having his hands held by the Iron Sheik. Earl Hebner reversing an Irish whip, landing a sick kick to Undertaker's stomach. Undertaker seemingly unfazed, which I suppose makes sense. Austin throwing those big rights and lefts, throwing a knee into the stomach of the Iron Sheik, doing it for America. You think Iran is so great? What about a broken neck, Iron Sheik? What about that? Uh, Steve Austin now just kind of like throwing middle fingers around, I guess, and uh, Iran makes a big comeback and knocks him into next week. <laughs> um, now getting choked to death. Meanwhile, The Undertaker uh, is playing patty cake with Hawk, throwing a knee into his stomach, and another neck breaker. We really like neck breakers in this match, apparently. Undertaker's now squaring off with Iran, uh, telling him what he thinks of the uh, nuclear deal, trying to break his elbow at the same time. Not sure which is more painful. Undertaker does a flying butt bump over Earl Hebner, <laughs> connects with nothing, now locked up with Hawk again. Hawk, uh, oh, gave a very confused, he's just kind of walking backwards, all right. Now trying to climb out of the cage, Undertaker uh, gropes his ankle for the uh, save. So he's stomping a mud hole now, is Steve Austin, throws the very kitchen sink into Hawk's stomach, goes for a pin, there are no pins in this match, Steve Austin <laughs> forgot how to wrestle. Too much beer before the match. Uh, here he goes. He's going to try to escape the cage. Um, he is knocked down by a uh, lazy kick about 20 feet away from him. So here we have a nice slow motion of Steve Austin missing everyone and crashing <laughs> onto his face. Uh, the, uh, the Undertaker going for the choke slam or the choke slam, as it might be called. Driving him right down onto Steve Austin, uh, which has no effect. Driving his head directly into Iron Sheik's anus to knock him off the cage wall. Undertaker just kind of leaving. Steve Austin, very busy. <laughs> up, chooses not to leave. Dives down. Is met with knees. Bones are definitely broken out of that one. Internal organs are liquefied. Everyone seems fine, though. <laughs> so just a nice 20-foot uh, cage dive. Um, Earl Hebner just obliterated by The Undertaker again. Earl Hebner having a bad match. Undertaker dropping that elbow, a well-known move for the 300-pounder. Uh, coming off the top rope, coming flying down. Of course, he did a cage dive before, so it's pretty much expected. 
Uh, Undertaker going for a tombstone, except not. Not sure why he wouldn't just do a tombstone from that position. Uh, knocking Hawk down with that Sting uh, DDT. And now with his neck broken again. Um, <laughs> quite a misleading move, the neck breaker. Does not wow. break any necks to speak of. Um, Undertaker just kind of, yep, with the broken elbow again. Revealing his limited moveset uh, to the fans. Now stomping his own mud hole. And uh, and now he's trying to depart again. Oh my god. The Iron Cheek is curious. And yes, he does know enough to knock him off the wall. Didn't know if he was going to know that or not, but uh, he did manage it. Undertaker, again, driving his head directly into the cage wall to make the save. Probably not the best move for his mental stability, but uh, it seems to be effective for saving the match. Steve Austin, looking for that stunner. It is countered, uh, and then a lot of kicks happen. So, oh, here we go. We got the last ride, and uh, as that happens, Stone Cold is going to try to leave. Uh, Hawk tapped the cage wall with his toe until it was no longer effective. Uh, again, with the flying headbutt into the uh, steel mesh. So, probably a lot of brain damage going on there. Um, throwing some uh, strikes Steve Austin's way. Steve Austin tries to respond with the fastest left hook in the business, but uh, Undertaker is long gone. Undertaker, uh, oh, his flying into the cage was not effective this time. Struggles to look in Hawk's direction. Very difficult for him to do. Hawk is like the sun. Um, Haw Undertaker driving his forearm literally through the face of Steve Austin. Uh, not sure how he survived that. Uh, everybody just kind of crisscrossing now, doing some cardio. Uh, you know, you got to stay in shape during a match like this. You got to keep your uh, blood pumping. Um, Steve Austin just kind of lazily making a, oh! and then, uh, a tiny kick. Once again, sends him down. Steve Austin, known for his terrible balance, probably drunk. Undertaker's uh, head once again enters the rectum of another wrestler during a, uh, a save attempt. So... Uh, Undertaker's head really getting a workout in this match. We got a nice uh, Fujiwara armbar from The Undertaker, and meanwhile, Undertaker, or uh, Steve Austin, doing the stomps, showing the fingers, just kind of ignoring The Undertaker oh my God, situation. <laughs> Hawk very effective with that lazy toe kick, uh, just kind of like basically just sweeping oh, the floor with his foot. Hawk forgot how to let go of The Undertaker. I no! believe Hawk has indeed betrayed everyone and allowed Steve Austin to win. So here's your winner, um, the guy who died in, like, 2003, Hawk. Wait, what? Yes. I won. Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, Hawk is the <laughs> mental winner. Um, Got, in through all Got a little this. confused <laughs> on who had won the match. <laughs> Looked away for a second. <laughs> I, I feel like Hawk is the emotional winner of this match because yeah, he, 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 he was happen. able to uh, do something selfless for the other wrestlers in the match. Making noises whenever I fail, probably. What the hell kind of match is this? It is, uh, you'll, you'll see. All right, okay. <laughs> Teaming up with Lance Storm of the famous Irish Storm tag team <laughs> that we made up in a silly way. And there's the other half of Irish Storm. So Finley, the uh, the Belfast Bruiser, just uh, joining up the team here. So there you go. Uh, on the other side, we have our God and Savior, Triple H. Um, and really nobody else, because it doesn't really matter who else is on the team. But we'll just throw on Goldberg. Um, he'll probably be tired in about a couple minutes. And uh, Kurt Angle, who will almost definitely die in the ring. I would say that as a joke, but seriously, Kurt Angle, stop wrestling. You're really going to make everyone sad when something bad happens. So, all right, yeah, here's the layout. We're gonna we're gonna go to the match. Oh gosh, look at his eyes. <laughs> okay, so Someone Joe, get it. This yes. is a table match. What the fuck, man? <laughs> press, press something to set up a table. Press something towards the table. So. As Tess drives Devon uh, brain first through a table, which is clearly not breaking, so that is a problem. <laughs> that table just made of iron, so. It's like iron. All right, our God and Savior will be the main focus of this commentary. He drops down Finley with absolute ease, as we all know. He sets up a table, he's probably going to win already. Oh, not quite yet. <laughs> We're going to make it a little more interesting. Um, going for the arm breaker, knocking him down. Kurt Angle taking a nap in the ring just as well. Uh, Goldberg, surprisingly, moving. Not not winded yet. He'll get there. Um, Triple H, maybe with some indigestion. He shouldn't have uh, eaten those NXT wrestlers for breakfast. But here we are. Uh, applying the side headlock. Everyone knows that headlock from the game is basically a kill move. So uh, kicking Finley out at the knee. Um, really just making a hash of him. B 
beating up Booker T, probably going to say some more racist things like he did before <laughs> WrestleMania 19, and then beat Booker with no comeuppance. So, what? Yeah, that's a thing. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> no comeuppance is kind of uh, a recurring thing. So... <laughs> Uh, Landstorm ineffectually slapping wood all over the ring. Um, not the most uh, appealing thing a man can do. I, uh, Finley moonsaulting out onto no one. Seems fine. Um, this match, of course, taking place on Velocity, the most important show of the era. Uh, known to such great matches as Akio versus Paul London. And um, that's about it. So <laughs> I think it was just that match every week. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Um, Triple H uh, generously falling down, selling a little bit for these peons. Um, probably won't last. Meanwhile, Finley was indeed eliminated, probably feeling the effects of that uh, Phantom Asai moonsault onto nobody. Landstorm barely survives an attack by Goldberg. Goldberg resting comfortably. Uh, oh no, here we go. Um, doing some witchcraft, breaking his neck apparently. On the table, the fuck is but Finley not doing? breaking it. Uh, Finley gone. has been eliminated, so Wait, he's just going to watch. Yeah, it's it is an elimination match. table match, uh, yes. Oh. Yes, so. So you just chilled out there? Pretty much so, yeah. <laughs> just like you guys did when you were eliminated. Indeed, <laughs> indeed. Here goes Booker T up to the top, driving Goldberg through a table. Goldberg will now go off to rest comfortably, uh, <laughs> as uh, is his want. Booker T dropping Triple H down with a suplex. Triple H let him do it. All hail our God and Savior. Uh, Kurt Angle just kind of kicking everyone at once with just kind of like a force blow um, coming out of his feet. Um, here we go. A lengthy submission is occurring. Lance Storm very deliberately puts on the uh, sharpshooter. God, aim at someone. Triple H uh, struggles to aim at everyone. Um, just kind of looking around, dazed, not quite sure what's going on. All hail. Uh, <laughs> the team going on top, maybe going for the... The Harlem Hangover, going for something, but it hits nothing. Shades of Finley. Um, <laughs> throwing some spinny kicks. And uh, now going for the suplex. Yep, dropping, dropping Triple H with a basic suplex again. God bless Triple H for uh, putting over talent so strong. All hail. Um, dropping <laughs> down again. Really just uh, trying to make it up to Booker T, I think, for all the bad things he did to him over the years with no comeuppance. And uh, now here's Lance Storm just plastering Triple H with the table. Is Triple H going to do one of his famous jobs? He is! Lance Storm will now be the new face of the company for five minutes until Triple H beats him in a rematch. So, there we go. Triple H still able to walk around the ring, not able to interact. Uh, or is he? I'm really actually not sure at all. Can you attack Booker T there, Triple H? Nope, cannot. You have become a ghost, a phantom in this world. Uh, so that's that's unfortunate. Oh can't can't interact with uh, Goldberg either. What a, what an exercise in frustration. Here, yes, you might be able to grab someone that way. Nope, not even that way. You are truly uh, a spirit of the dead, walking amongst the living, able to witness but powerless to make any effect. <laughs> Kurt Angle bravely fighting through his uh, personal and physical issues, but he should probably stop. Oh God! Uh, Landstorm now. Uh, Applying a uh, single leg Boston Crab for 0.1 seconds. A very effective maneuver. Uh, really just being plastered by tables, but un unwilling to lay down and take it. Uh, Brook T getting tired of his partner, ripping the table out of his hands, uh, but it was also ineffective. Um, Kurt Angle drops to the floor like a sack of tangerines. He's back up, he's playing keep away, he's trying to frustrate his opponents into submission. Brook T forgetting where he's going. And uh, just kind of flipping onto no one. Landstorm gets the victory as Booker T spin a Rooney's up to his feet, <laughs> and that is the end of that one. <laughs> Four oh, Triple H. The team of Bookstorm is victorious. <laughs> Bookstorm. Bookstorm. <laughs> How do you come up with these names? <laughs> oh. Well, Ooh, I take the word storm and I apply another word to it. <laughs> really focusing on Kurt Angle's ass. Kurt Angle waiting to be sodomized. No. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Whatever you're into. I love the, uh, the knowledge you bring in. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the knowledge of sodomy. Yes, okay. No, what? No, the knowledge of uh, Kurt Angle. Slide it right in. I'd love to see some abominations in this one. Murder. There we go. That magnificent murderer. 
And there's only one person who could be uh, Murloc's partner. Only one man in this world who is good enough to be Murloc's partner. Who is that man? That man is Orange Cassidy. I completely agree. <laughs> Elsewhere, we have the Great Kali, appropriately ranked at a 29. <laughs> He's teaming up with Rodney Mac. Right. Who cannot defeat Sable in the last man standing match. And on the other uh, <laughs> side, we have a ridiculously overpowered team of Hulk Hogan and The Rock. And uh, there you go. Two of the, Once in a lifetime. Two of the uh, biggest stars, yeah. <laughs> they were color. He has the color brothers. I'm not going to touch that one. <laughs> Murloc, the magnificent the murderer of the deep, know. taking on the uh, red and yellow abomination that is Hulk Hogan. He really ought to be a lot more orange. Hulk Hogan now being forced to climb a trailer and has no way to get down, but he doesn't care because he's just listening for the sounds of the fans. Meanwhile, someone got electrocuted to death. I'm not sure who. So, uh, Rock and Hogan just going to join each other, stand on this trailer, and be rock stars. The Rock instead deciding to kind of backflip onto the back of his neck. Uh, no longer concerned about a career in Hollywood, just wants to die. So that's unfortunate. Rodney Mac uh, brutalizes Orange Cassidy, uh, which is the easiest thing in the world to do. Greg Colley makes out with a power outlet, so that's, that's an interesting choice. Um, he'll probably have Tourette's like Goldust did after that happened to him, which is not how you get Tourette's, I would like to point out. <laughs> it did. Um, it did. It did. In a wonderful era. And once again, just kind of giving a blowjob to that electrical outlet. Um, yep, yep, that, that's really what it was. Murloc decides Hulk Hogan is lonely, decides to go up top. Hulk Hogan. Uh, trying to get in the mix with him, but instead kind of stumbling like an old man, falling off the trailer to his death. So, also unfortunate. Uh, Murloc raising the roof. Easier to do because he's up on the trailer. He's closer to the actual roof. Um, his arms are a little deformed also, so that's, that's some like Hulk Hogan Hogan's doing. <laughs> Hulk Hogan uh, displaying his love of motorcycles by sitting on one, staring in the corner, kind of exposing oh. his ass to everyone. <laughs> Kurt Angle style. Orange Cassidy gets a handshake from the great Kali and then uh, kind of does a lazy elbow, so that that's quite accurate. Uh, Orange Cassidy <laughs> taking the fight to Hulk Hogan, throwing Hulk Hogan into an electrical blowjob. Um, so, yeah, The Rock just kind of looking around, trash talking, gives Orange Cassidy a handshake, and that was that. Just a nice, uh, honest handshake. Nothing else happened. Orange Cassidy being uh, plastered on the cement floor. Uh, probably will sleep there for a while. Hulk Hogan and Rodney Mack, that eternal rivalry continues as uh, Rodney Mack throws Hulk Hogan around like a rag doll. Uh, Orange Cassidy follows Rodney Mack as slowly as possible before being choked to death by Murloc, his own partner. And uh, no one can stand Orange Cassidy, it seems. Um, yep, yep, Orange Cassidy just ran over his deck with the motorcycle. So, uh, Murloc, as many sea creatures do, is now driving a forklift and attempting to throw magic boxes at people. Uh, oh crap, it's over. <laughs> nope, and uh, the match is over. The Rock pins the Great Kali, and Hulk Hogan listens for the sounds of the fans on top of the trailer. What a contest. All right, we can't end it on that one. <laughs> we got to do man. one more. Find one more. <laughs> one more. <laughs> After we see. Yep. Oh, yeah. oh who, who would have guessed The Rock and Hulk Hogan won? <laughs> I thought The Rock could pin the Great Kali and defeat Orange Cassidy. <laughs> Indirectly, of course. Yes. No one truly defeated Orange Cassidy, I'd just yeah. like to point out. Alright, right, in this match we have uh, Lazy's Man who lived in Orange Cassidy, we have A-Train, a.k.a. Albert, a.k.a. Tensai, a.k.a. Uh, Giant Bernard, a.k.a. Matt Bloom, a.k.a. <laughs> a lot of things, against uh, Venus the Penis, against uh, Rob Van Dam, who's perpetually high, both in the air and in his life. Uh, we have Dajiri, the awesome Japanese buzzsaw, who I really ought to have rated more highly. And uh, the sixth member is still a mystery. Perhaps Trish Stratus, perhaps Stephanie McMahon, perhaps uh, Sable, perhaps uh, somebody. I don't know. Fucking pick somebody. Uh, I'll play with Kurt Angle. Yep, play okay. with Kurt Angle. An orange blooded beast <laughs> with purple skin. Is golden. All right, Chris, this is the one. Make it count. <laughs> uh, I make all of them count. Here we are joining this lovely Hell in a Cell match, which will have absolutely no cameras inside of the cell. Please enjoy the view of uh, large chain-link fences and giant metal pillars 
And uh, if you look very carefully, you can see a ketchupified Kurt Angle <laughs> twirling in the corner, very carefree as to the uh, implications of this match. Lawrence well, Cassidy just kind of falls over onto whoever the fuck that is, Val Venus, I guess. Um, locking up now, Tajiri and Rob Van Dam, Irish whipping each other for fun, while somebody, A Train, I guess, uh, is, yes, now suplexing the Kurt Angle Meister. Tajiri flips back onto nobody <laughs> and flips again onto nobody. Orange Cassidy taking a nap as expected. Oh, he's up again. Everybody knows uh, books are his worst enemy, so here's a shout out for you. Glass is still staying on. Very impressive on Orange Cassidy's part. Very tired, having a lie down. Um, Valvina's going for a pin on Kurt Angle. This will surely be successful. Uh, I'll kick out a two. Uh, Rob Van Dam trips up Orange Cassidy. And then uh, gets a nice low blow from him. Yep, there you go. Orange Cassidy just kind of spearing the shit out of Kurt Angle um, with no momentum whatsoever. So just kind of went from zero to a million in one second. Now looking for a handshake from Val Venus. You don't know where that wow. hand has been. You probably have hepatitis now. Uh, throwing Val Venus to the outside, knocking the uh, porn star down into the aisle and sort of flopping out onto him like a dead fish. Um, Valvinus recovering, throwing Orange back into the ring. Orange, uh, oh, going for a big choke slam, goozling the man, and he's gonna spit some rancid orange juice into his face as the rancid particles dissipate in the air. Every fan in the arena is infected, so uh, the plague has started here. Humanity will end soon, so. A train doing kind of like a murder move to fuck, I can't tell what the hell is happening in this match. There's so much cage in the way. Orange Cassidy helpfully going outside the door, so I'm going to look at him because I don't have to look through giant pillars of metal. Orange Cassidy going up to the roof, uh, parading about for the fans, centering himself in the exact uh, center of power and uh, doing the robot. So that's, <laughs> that's something that you can do. Here comes Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle wanting to do a dance party. It's a dance party on the roof. Uh, some lazy kicks are countered. Kurt Angle looking to obliterate this defenseless young man as well he should. <laughs> Some lazy strikes from Orange Cassidy have little effect. He's being choked into unconsciousness, which is his favorite state of being. Um, he rolls up into, uh, just kind of drops his hip down on the cell. That must feel good. Uh, a trade in here now also to try to abuse Orange Cassidy. Uh, surprisingly oh, not effective. Yep, yep, it's a dance party on the roof for real now. Uh, be careful not to run off the side. Oh, Tajiri kicks like four people with his magnetic kick. Then uh, receives a very ineffective axe handle. Rob Van Dam falls to his death in the background. Uh, nobody's much bothered by that. A-Train uh, pinning, but Orange Cassidy very deliberately punched him in the calf to make sure that was not effective. Uh, A-Train now bullying Orange Cassidy just ridiculously, taking crazy backflip bumps. Rob Van Dam has come back up and back down again. Uh, Meanwhile, Kurt Angle uh, humps someone to death. I think Val Venus. Um, Orange Cassidy, yep, just kind of throat pushes A-Train off the edge. Uh, Orange Cassidy not looking too good for wear. Uh, nope, not fast enough, though. Nope, there he goes, though. He tried to escape by climbing off the roof and fell onto his head, which is a very expected outcome. So, uh, Orange Cassidy unable to Irish whip Kurt Angle for more than a couple meters. Uh, they're going at it. Oh, and finally pushes him off with a throw no, someone's push. Someone's about to win here. Oh, nope. Looking for that uh, handshake from A-Train on top of the cell. A very appropriate place to be doing that. A-Train uh, coming back, really just bullying the shit out of uh, Orange Cassidy. Orange Cassidy, very tired, but he came in that way, so don't read too much into it. Uh, yeah, Orange Cassidy can make no... Uh, oh all he can do is catch oh a pump kick, which has been a great friend for Luchasaurus. Um, now catching a ridiculous oh dominator <laughs> and really just spectacularly <laughs> flying off the side. It's over, it's over. It's comes down to, uh, to pin Orange Cassidy, and every pin on Orange Cassidy is successful, <laughs> yep, so the match is over. <laughs> A-Train is your uh, big winner. So that was a horrifying know. moment. <laughs> Yeah, you really went flying, man. My you finished gosh. me and I flopped off the edge. You did. That was, that was brutal, man. It was yeah. so, oh gosh. Poor Orange Cassidy is now deceased. Orange Cassidy. <laughs> After he did so good at throat pushing Kurt Angle off the saddle. He did. He pushed him right by his trachea. Oh, gosh.
push. All right, one last thing we need to see in this match. Which is? Which is... Wait for it. Oh! <laughs> 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 they all do that. All do he that. sang. Look at him. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was uh, that was uh, that was edition. riveting. Yes. Okay. Hopefully, I lived up to expectations. I thought it was pretty hilarious. Right. Hopefully, the fans do yes. as well. Yes. yes. I agree with that.